Hey everybody, this is Praxis. In this video, we're talking about something wicked serious. Big Brother is putting crickets in our food supply. I love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now waiting, better believe in your mind, cause it's everything. You can mold, shape, find almost anything. Okay, full disclosure, this is not a serious problem. This is not a serious problem at all for the vast majority of us. It is potentially an issue for people who have an allergy to things with a shell, like uh, you know, crustaceans, uh, uh, cr crabs, lobsters, shrimp, crickets. Some people have an allergy to that, but for the vast majority of us, for the, the other 99.9999999999% of us, this is not a serious issue. This is not a problem. Crickets are a perfectly reasonable source of food. I've eaten crickets before. I accidentally cooked one in a solar oven. I felt bad about it. It must have been an awful way to die, be slowly baked to death. But I ate it afterwards, and it tasted fine, actually. If I had, like, a bag full of crickets, like a bag of potato chips, I totally would just eat a bunch of crickets. They taste totally fine. And I looked into it, and they're quite nutritious. It's a really healthy source of food. They're really high in vitamins and nutrients and, uh, you know, protein and all that. Uh, they've, uh, they're really easy to raise. In fact, I've been thinking as, like, kind of a post-apocalyptic kind of food source, you know, maybe I could do crickets, although I'd probably eat them pre-apocalypse uh, pre as well. In fact, I think a lot of preppers, you know, might either be presently thinking about, uh, you know, raising crickets as kind of a food source, or, or have been thinking about that, and, and this is just, it's just such a fake kind of an issue. I, you know, I, the only potential uh, issue with this that I see is that, you know, the idea of things being put into your food that you're not aware of. But is that really an issue for you? For the vast majority of people, people don't care what's in their food. In fact, people like me get made fun of for caring about what's in our food. Uh, you know, when we uh, are asking about the ingredients on something, like if you go to the rest a restaurant and you're, you're going to be like, uh, excuse me, um, what is in your like X, Y, or Z? It's like, that. that's kind of a social faux pas. And, and um, it's not really... Um, it's not appreciated by, by people around you to care about what's going into your body. You know, uh, look at any kind of a bag of junk food that you have. I, I mean, you really know what is, you know, all those ingredients are. Do you care what all those ingredients are? And a lot of those things are uh, things that have a track record for causing disease and cancers and all, all, all these other types of disorders. Um, you know, to get your panties all up in a bunch about crickets is just, you know, it's looking for a problem. The reason people don't like the idea of crickets is, um, you know, there's been a couple of science fiction movies, where, you know, these dystopian science fiction movies where, like, crickets are a food supply. And I think a for a lot of preppers, we have been kind of, th you know, we've seen films like that, and we're like, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. You know, maybe I should start, like, getting ready to grow crickets so that I could have a post-apocalyptic food supply. Crickets are a good thing. They're a benefit. They're not a, a you know... It's not a bad thing at all. I mean, again, it's like the gross factor, but that's like a 10-year-old kid, uh, kid kind of thing. It's like, oh, gross. It's like, oh, he, he kissed a girl. Gross. You know, uh, <laughs> you can live your life in that kind of 10-year-old mindset where it's like, oh, this is gross. Or, you know, or who cares about it, really? Again, the only issue that I can see with it is just, like, you know, it's, I don't like the idea of things being put in my food that I'm not aware of. And because of that, I just, you know, I don't buy from the kind of companies that do that kind of thing. I buy stuff from, you know, uh, places that have, like, a reputable supply chain and, you know, there's transparency. And, um, uh, you know, most of the people who are all ooh, gross about crickets right now are the kind of people that made fun of people like me who for caring about what's in our food, uh, you know, for all these years. And now they're all just like, eh, gross, crickets. You ever have, like, ruby red grapefruit juice or anything that has, like, a red coloring in it? Do you know the coloring carmine? Do you know where carmine comes from? I'm not going to tell you. Look where carmine comes from. That's been in food for years. Ooh, gross. Who really cares? If you're going to be talking about issues here on, on YouTube in the preparedness community, save it for things that actually matter. Don't complain that someone is taking a ingredient out of food that you're buying that has a ton of other crap in there, too. I mean, like all, all the type of meat products. I'm sure I have like all these weird, you know, preservatives and whatever in there. No, nobody, nobody cares about that. They just care that maybe there's going to be some crickets in there. But they are literally taking a, a food product, like beef, out of it, which has like a, a connection with like heart disease and cancer and everything, and replacing it with a substitute which is healthier and doesn't have any of those issues. <sighs> Complain about real things. That's all i got to say about that. Crickets are pretty tasty. Try some, and then you can tell me whether or not you think that they're gross or not. Thanks for watching.
This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every week for new videos. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so through Patreon or PayPal.